College football week 10, the winning cures, everything top 10. Oh, boy. I think we might be a little bit different this week. What do you think? I don't know, man. I thought the top 10 was actually pretty easy. I think where we ranked them was, was kind of – it might be a little different. Uh, let's, uh, let's go on and fire it off. I'll, I'll do number 10. I got UCF number 10. Okay. I've got Ohio State number 10. Okay. That's, I, I moved Ohio State back out. I think that – Wow. That, that game against Nebraska showed me that I'm curious team as to is, who's in that you don't that I don't have because I I I worked really like I thought there are ten teams that are that belong on this list and I don't know if there's anybody else. I got LSU at number nine. Oh, that's why. Okay. I don't yeah. think a loss to Alabama like should should boot you from okay. like number three, four, five, whatever, all the way if, out. If if I if I just. I was just so upset after the game. I just said, "Fuck it, they're not." Sorry, <laughs> sorry for the sorry for the f word. Um, I've worked really hard to not do that. Um, I um, I just I don't know, man. And, and here's the deal: I'm not even going to say like we're not offensively good enough. We weren't last night. No, but, but, but y'all's running game and, and we Joe could, Burrow could score on. I would like any play, number of. Teams. I'd like to play Ohio State. I would like for us to get matched up in a bowl game. And say, you know what? Let's see how they do. Yeah. Let's 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 go to the Peach Bowl. Let's, Ralph, let's Ralph Russo's uh, Peach Bowl prediction Bowl. is he thinks Notre Dame's going to get beat and get left out of the playoff. He's got yeah. LSU and Notre Dame again. And we I, play, which we I play don't each want, other like, like every four years in a yeah, bowl. I wouldn't want that. I, I would want to see something. I mean, that different. that would really be like the now, it, third what time. He, in, what he has in, in ten years. He's in a got bowl game. he's got Georgia and West Virginia in the Sugar Bowl, mm-hmm. and I think if LSU and Georgia both have two losses. You got to put LSU in the Sugar Bowl. I don't care what bowl we go to. And so, I, but I think it might be like, hey, we need Georgia fans to come to New Orleans, and we need LSU fans in Atlanta. Go somewhere else. So either way, I, I I would like to see like Notre Dame in the Sugar Bowl and West Virginia in the Peach Bowl, and see you guys against West Virginia. Since since we're gonna talk bowl stuff for a second, just just a little little opinion. I don't like teams staying at home for bowl games. I agree with you. Like like it's an opportunity to take a trip. It's an opportunity before the season started. I know if I'm going to go to a big LSU game and I'm not going to go to Baton Rouge, hey, let's go down to Boca Raton. Let's let's go to Atlanta. <laughs> like let's 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 take a vacation and let's go, go to watch, Orlando. Yeah, let's, let's go, go let's go let's watch, go, watch yeah. our team play somewhere. I mean, I don't want to go to Jacksonville, but like like if they end up in a <laughs> cool city, I'm all right. Like people crap on the Music City Bowl. I'm like, dude, Nashville's a lot of fun. Like, yeah. have you been there in a while? I, a, I would take Nashville over Jacksonville all day long. I know it's that, a lower bowl, but, and it's and it's colder. It's yeah. real cold around around yeah, New Year's Eve. I'm, all right. I'm, I'm I'm okay with that. But like, so. yeah, like let's let's go somewhere. Louisiana fans, yeah. Let's. I mean, go to New Orleans. Man, you do that every weekend. Yeah. Uh, no, who you got number nine? Number nine, I got West Virginia. I think the win over Texas is good. I think they're a really good one-loss team, and uh, I think they belong in the top ten. But I have them below all the teams that I think are better than them. Okay. That would okay. beat them head-to-head. Well, I've, I've got West Virginia number eight. I think uh, the win at Texas was a, a big deal. Stylistically, they didn't really match up, uh, and they still put up 42 point or 43 point, whatever it was. Whatever yeah. they had to win by, they had 40-something points on Texas. Um yeah, I mean they impressed me with that game. Uh, I think maybe the Iowa State game was just uh, just an off night, possibly. Ooh, I don't know about that. I think Iowa State's really good. I think they are I, I don't really wanna, good. I don't want to say the only reason Iowa State beat them is because they were off. Iowa State's I, a good I, football team. We're gonna find out. Iowa State I don't might think it have was a the only reason. I just think it, I it. think the reason it was such a dominant win for Iowa State is I think West Virginia might not have been on their A game that night. I, and I'll tell you this: I wonder how much of West Virginia is when somebody hits them in the mouth early because Texas didn't hit them. Texas got in a got in a shootout with them, which yeah. is stupid. Bad coaching. You run the football. You control the line of scrimmage. You control the game flow. You don't score fast. You don't score early. You just control the game and and you beat them with a thousand paper cuts. Um, Texas didn't do it. Bad game plan. I mean, that's that's just coaching one on one. They got beat on. Um, What's your number eight? No, number eight is Washington State. Okay, I, I, I got them in here. They got a, they're a one loss team that shouldn't even be a loss, um, and uh, and and I'm standing firm on that. I know they squeaked by, but you got to do that every now and then. If you live and die by squeaking by, like every other week, we're having the conversation about Ohio State and Oklahoma, like squeaking by, and I talk about it like this is a negative. 
But the problem is, is it's because it happens all the time. It happens once or twice a season. You're allowed that, especially at the end of the game, in the season when when everybody's giving you their best. Pac-12 after dark voodoo stuff going on. You get by. Okay. Now, before we get into uh, our top seven, the show, as always, brought to you by Tunica, Mississippi, the South's premier sports gambling destination. They got six awesome sports books down there. They got Samstown, First Jackpot, Hollywood Casino, Horseshoe, Gold Strike, and Fitz Casino. Go check out more information on all their amazing sports books over at tunicatravel.com. Don't forget, you can also check out winningcureseverything.com for all of our picks, et cetera, et cetera. Let's jump into the top seven. We we got in deep before we caught ourselves. Yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. Uh, mm. Washington State is number seven for me. All right. We just talked about them. All the same reasons that you talked about. Uh, it, they impressed me with being able to sneak out that win. Normally, that Pac-12 after dark thing where things are just going wrong right. catches them. Mentally tough football team Mike Leach has got down there. I, I think having a redshirt senior. And this this like loss, this grand win. transfer senior. Yeah. This win could have looked a whole lot better. They get that pick six and they don't fumble it out of the end zone kind of thing. Like, you got a 10-point win now. Like, now it looks well, and like. You, you hit uh, the field goal that you missed from 30 yards. Yeah. Like, like then, this, at this, that point, I've got to cover. Well, um, <laughs> yeah, I get that. But, like, outside of even that, like, you kind of got an ass whipping. Yeah. Like, you got a team that just beat the other team up. Well, because it, it can it can start to steamroll from there. So right. so you're talking about little things just made it look close it can, it can when it really wasn't. So yeah. my number seven team is Oklahoma. I, I give them a lot of hell because I think they're a good team, and it frustrates me that they play these teams that I don't think are really good to a stalemate all yeah. the time, and they got to do weird shit at the end of the game to to try to get the game in hand. You're a better team than that. Lincoln Riley's a better coach be. than that. Oh, well, well talent wise, they are. Yeah. There's there's nobody with as many stars in their in their roster as Oklahoma in the Big Twelve. No, you're right about that. So so if if we're talking our guys should beat your guys, I mean that's that should happen you, every you game. You shouldn't have to out scheme somebody no. as much as Oklahoma has you should, to. And they have to do it a lot. Yeah. Um, I don't think the defense got a lot better by firing Stoops midseason. I mean, maybe the guy that took his place isn't any better Ru- than Ruffin him. McNeil. I mean, he, you know, he was on that coaching staff when Stoops was there. He had an opportunity to give an opinion to try to make the defense better before he got the coordinator job, and he wasn't able to do that. So, yeah, that's why they're seven. They're not higher. I look at this team and think they should be higher, but but then I watch them play and I'm like, no, you frustrate me way too much. You're not going up. I've got Oklahoma. At six. So, I've got them one spot higher. Yeah. Uh, and well, our guess, difference is going to come up next. Yeah, I, that's what I was thinking. I, We're one off on all of these because my number six is UCF. There you go. I, and and so, here's my logic. <clears throat> and now, it is as sound as it could be, and I feel comfortable making this argument to where I'm not just spreading some type of bullcrap small school propaganda. Okay. All of the teams I have below them, <clears throat> except for Washington State, are all the exact same as UCF. They're all high-powered offense, high-scoring teams that play no defense whatsoever. So if you think that those teams are all a whole lot better than UCF, you're wrong and you haven't been watching football. When UCF, or if UCF, was to line up and play any of those three teams I got below them, I think we have the exact same game that we had against Temple. We have the exact same game that Oklahoma just played against Texas Tech. I think we, we watch them go back and forth back and forth less over under on number of punts in that game is probably four at the most and 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 i think yeah i think i might take the under and it's just one of those situations where who gets the ball last who makes a big mistake turnover fumble interception something of that nature but if you think ucf can't hang offensively with oklahoma west virginia ohio state you haven't been watching football therefore they don't have a loss the other teams have a loss and guess what their losses aren't real great. Yeah, I mean, right. I like Iowa State a lot, but a loss to Iowa State ain't real great. Ohio State got the hell beat out of them by Purdue. Not real great. And OU got beat by a three-loss Texas team they right now. They could end up having they more losses. They could have losses. four, five. So, I mean, and Purdue could have more. So I got to Iowa put, State could I, get another one. I have it. to put the undefeated team above them all, and, and I've got them at six. And everybody I've got above them I think is head and shoulders better than them. That's where my mark of demarcation is right now. All right, number five to our top five. I got Georgia at number five. I think we're going to look really close to similar. You're still not. You're still wrong on one thing, in my opinion. 
<laughs> the rest of the world agrees with you, by the way. So you're probably in good company there. I've got Georgia five. Okay. Uh, and we, we agree, like, they are starting to run the football better. They're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage. I think they will dominate everybody on their schedule up to the SEC championship game the same way. I will tell you this. I went into this week thinking if Georgia beats the hell out of Kentucky <clears throat> and Michigan plays Penn State close, I'm, I'm putting Georgia over Michigan. But it, I couldn't do it. That didn't happen. Michigan dominated every aspect of that game from the second the game started. So Michigan is number four. That's the same for me. Michigan yep. four for me. But uh, I, I, I went into this weekend – with the mentality, Georgia's got a chance to play their way into my top four. Okay, okay. Uh, number three, I think this is where we're gonna we're this gonna is, differ. This is the only difference. I got Notre Dame number three. I, they are not dominating, uh, not good football teams, the way that I would like to see them dominate them. Their defense is still good. I mean, they, they only gave up two hundred fifty yards to Northwestern. They just beat the best team in the Big Ten West. By double digits, who has on the four losses? Who okay. also lost to Akron? Okay, at home, like so. Clemson scores seventy. Congratulations, you did it against a child. At, now I do agree. I with mean, that part I mean, where literally it's like, against a child. If they like, wanted to score a hundred, they could have. Yeah, it's like why are you doing this to? They're they're, they're getting they're do but they're doing exactly what what everyone thinks they should do. They're getting style points. They're getting all these big numbers, so we we'll keep them in number two. Yeah. Um. All right, so I mean, so that means you've got Clemson at number three. I've got Clemson three, and it's strictly because Notre. D both of these teams are undefeated, and both of these teams are handling. T they're winning the games they're supposed to win, and Clemson's played some close games. Notre Dame's played some close games, but at the end of the day, more teams are getting beat by double digits or not. More teams they're covering spread, which is what Vegas thinks is is the line should be kind of thing. And so, one team has played a harder strength of schedule. One team has a big Big win, a top five win to open the season. The other team doesn't have anything close to that. There's and they, a chance, and they won't until there's the playoffs. There's a chance, other than Boston College, they might not have a top 25 win on their entire schedule after the ACC is all done. That's entirely possible. I mean, it, NC State, I don't think they're going to finish the year with two losses. No, no, um, they're, they're not Syracuse, finishing the top 25. Like, Syracuse, if Syracuse doesn't beat Notre Dame, then they you know, could fall out. Yeah, then you got then you got problems. Um, and A and M, I don't see is finishing in the top twenty five. Well, no, because they, I mean, they've already got four losses. They still got to play LSU. That's right. They still got to play. I don't think they're in the top twenty five this week. I have no idea who else they got to play. They got to play LSU, and they've got to play Ole Miss. No, anyway. Yes, then, Ole Miss. Is it Ole Miss? Yeah, because they they haven't played yet. That's it. Um, <laughs> so number two for me is Clemson. Because they have they 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 flipped a switch at some point. Like after the Syracuse game, when they got Trevor Lawrence back, they took that bye week. Since the bye week, they have been absolutely dominant, and they are dominating bad teams the way you're supposed to. And, and but I know, is there a difference between beating a bad team by twenty or fifty? Because no, I don't not. see any different in that. There's not, but but Notre Dame almost losing to Pittsburgh. Um, Pittsburgh, I, Pittsburgh better than all of the teams that. Clemson's dominating. Right, and Clemson okay. may get their shot to play Pittsburgh. They might get their chance they to play Pittsburgh. They might get their shot. Uh, Northwestern, a pretty good team. They won't I, play them on the road, though. They'll play them in neutral site. Yeah, they'll, yeah. So Notre they'll Dame played them on the road. Yeah, no, Notre Dame played, uh, played. are you talking about Northwestern? Pitt. Or Pitt. No, 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 they, Pitt played at Notre Dame. I thought that game was at Pitt. No, they, they had them at home, and okay. they, they trailed for a, a lot of that ball. I know that. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I've got Clemson, too, just because they – are what big win dominant do, right what now. big win do they have A&M Syracuse no Syracuse. Syracuse. You, you, you don't eh. you don't get A&M when a bad Auburn team just beat A&M and they kind of yeah. beat them up well I mean they I know they, they didn't, didn't beat them I didn't up. know they I mean, take they, the, the lead to the end but I mean they they, they ran on them they, they were yeah, able to kind of they were able to play Auburn football against them the way they wanted to and at no point in time were they out of the game no, I think yeah, you're right. I don't know that that's a so so you've got a good Syracuse win that literally so as, took as you far as resume, all you needed. My my Clemson ranking is eye test. That's such I know a that's terrible I know it's rank I know it's ridiculous, but it is eye test. Like that's that's why I've got them there. Um, and I think we both, I mean, we both got Alabama number one. Like it, we we had an argument about like well who have they played right? Yeah, and, and now 
you know, you get a, a shutout win in Baton Rouge. There are, there are like four teams in college football that actually have a hard schedule. And that's it. Yeah. Like, every, everybody else plays a bullcrap schedule. And, and LSU is one of those teams that has a, a pretty hard schedule. That's right. No, they've got the, they've got, they've got the best schedule, the hardest, worst schedule in the country. I, uh, I agree. All right, that wraps up our Winning Cures Everything Top 10. Don't forget, tunicatravel.com for more information on the sports books down in Tunica, Mississippi, and winningcureseverything.com for our college football recap, all of our videos, all that good stuff. If you're on YouTube, still listening, still watching, hit that subscribe button for us.